We all know all of these beers. They're the most popular beer in the world. We've tried almost all of them, but we've never tried them all together. Which one is truly the best? And we're gonna find that out right here today on Drinking with Craig and Roger. Today we're going to sample beers of my father's and beers of your grandfather. And millions of people, billions of people all across the world today. Yes, these are uh, beers that are all at least 100 years old. They're American beers. They were popular in the 30s, 40s, 50s, and 60s. Mm -hmm. uh, candidates are Paps Blue Ribbon. Classic. Yes, <laughs> best American beer in 1893. Okay. Coors, a beer which was only available west of the Mississippi for a long time. They even made a movie with Burt Reynolds. Yes. Driving a truckload of Coors East. Yes. Budweiser, the king of beers. Schlitz, the beer that made Milwaukee famous. That's right. Uh, then we also have uh, kind of a, a more regionalized thing. We have the Narragansett out of Rhode Island that started in 1890. Yingling, the oldest family-owned brewery operating in the United States. It was started in about 1840s. Okay, wow. And then Miller High Life, the champagne of beers. Yeah, which may be my personal favorite of these. And there's a separate battle uh, between a lot of people that say Miller High Life is better from the bottle or the can, I fall firmly under the bottle category. It's almost like a different beer to me, but we'll find out because we are going to try all of these blind. We'll have to have our assistants prepare the glasses. Yes, for the blind we tasting. will prepare the blind tasting and then we will come back and blind taste. And we're back. All right. And here we have um, quite a sight. Quite a sight, yeah. And, and, <laughs> and you know, uh, these are all American lagers, which is a style that uh, was created in America by a lot of German immigrants in the late 19th century. Mm -hmm. uh, these will all be medium bodied uh, and they will have a very multi center yeah. and a slightly hoppy finish mm -hmm. in them. That's what they're all going to be like. Uh, they yeah. vary a little bit. Uh, when I was young, there were, there were a lot of people around who would find one they liked and that was the only thing they would order. That so, was, yeah. I am a Miller drinker or I yeah. am a, you know, Bud drinker. You know, I think that's pretty much still the same. All right. Not a huge fan of the first one. Right out of the gate. This one's a little, mm. I mean, it's drinkable, but eh, it's got a little bit of off flavor to me. A little, a little something I don't like, um, especially on the finish. Okay. I, I think, um, it's not my favorite. Uh, let's move on and come and we can go back and forth, but let's move on and get sure. our first initial impression. So far, initial impression, mm, not the best. Okay, well, number or uh, letter B, we're going A to A to, to H. H here. So well, that's pretty nice. Yeah, I like this one better than the first one. I like it better. Has a little more maltiness to it yeah. on the finish. Uh, and it's not as kind of the it's not as cloudy, uh, hoppy type finish. No, so. it's pretty clean. It's got some nice flavor to it. Yeah, yeah. Okay, I'm liking the I'm liking B, pretty pretty good, pretty good. All right, here. Oh, this was colder too. It's, it's a it's a toss it's up between B and C for me. I'm preferring C, I think, at the moment. It's a little less flavorful, but it is. Really, it's a nice flavor all throughout, and it's pretty crisp on, on its finish there. Um, tastes like a well-made beer. <laughs> I mean, these are some of, this is brewing at its most scientific, these beers. You know, it's the height of technology, the yeah, they, height of ingredient usage in terms of achieving the exact same flavor all the time. Uh, C. I'm liking C. You, did you say what you thought? What did you think? I thought that? B and C were about the same to me. Okay. Which I like that's better than me. Now the dark one. Yeah. Mmm. That is a more heavy malty taste, and it's a little, little heavier body than the others. Yeah, I think it's actually the smoothest flavored. It's like maybe the creamiest and smoothest flavored. Nothing is sticking out. No off flavors at all. In a way, it may be the least flavorful, but the most pleasant. Mm. Yeah, the the the, the uh, hops at the end is very mild. 
I'm giving it most crushable so far. It does have just a slight odd aftertaste. Just a little one. It might grow, might turn on me over the long haul of a can, but who knows. So then uh, A, B, C, D, E, not bad. Very nice. Light, also maybe one of the lightest. I don't have any off taste on it. No, no off taste. Good. Very, very refreshing. Yeah, refreshing, light beer. Like that one. Here we go, on F. F, well I hope it's not an F and R taste. It's a little crisper. And yeah. It's uh, sort of, uh, there's a little bit of citrusy taste in it to me. It tastes kind of similar to the one before it. It's fine. Nothing, nothing wrong with it, but doesn't have a whole lot going on. Well, you know, it depends on. I think. All right, here we go. G. G. Good nose. Nice. It's gonna be tough. They are all very similar. This is a good one. Very light and crisp and bready-ish. I like that. And finally, bringing up the caboose. With, with more for us to sample too. <laughs> yeah, that's true. Here you go. Cheers. <laughs> Boy, they really started tasting very, very similar. That's because um, they are. Yeah, they are. It's light. Ready? <laughs> uh, no, no bad off tastes. No bad aftertaste there. No. Of them, I'm mm. gonna, I'm gonna. I think A was my least favorite. Let's go back to it, really quick. Make sure. After all those, does it still have an off taste? No, it tastes a lot like H to me. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> it tastes. Uh, uh, no, I'm catching. It's it's a slight, maybe a, uh, for lack of a better word, an acrid sweetness in that finish that I don't love. A is definitely not my favorite. I'll put that. I'll put it yeah. that way. Or which one is your normally would be your favorite? Well, I've always bought past. Yeah, you do like PBR. PBR, yeah, they they're a, a gypsy brewery too, but they're a big one. They have they don't own any breweries. They just what? Con they, they contract brew everything. I did not know that. And they also contract brew about twenty other brands that are available regionally oh, wow. or whatever. Yeah. Um, uh, Schlitz uh, actually closed in 1982, Schlitz. and it was brought back by Pabst Corporation. Okay. They, they bought the recipe, they mm -hmm. bought the name, and they, they contract brew. <laughs> I figured the way to go about this, since they seem to be pretty similar in quality and style, of course, is to just say whichever, to, to kind of go on whichever one has the note that you like the best. The way beer tasted to me when I first started tasting a beer is how I want this to taste. And, and occasionally, recently, I have gotten that with uh, High Life from the bottle. Boy, this one here, uh, G, it looks like it was sent uh, down from the heavens, you know? This looks like it could be... Uh, Old, huh? I don't know. The chosen one. Maybe. <laughs> it tastes okay. It's not bad. All right, here we go. Let me hit C again. Where have you been coming with these? Any, anything standing out on your second time through? See, well, it's good. I'm, I'm, Doesn't I'm, have the best finish. Um, nah. F and G are both great. H is nice too. Man, this is a lot harder than I expected. I don't Oof. think any one of them stands out as the king of beer by a, lar by a large margin. Not by any Not, means. No, they're, and they're, they're no longer cold, so any flaws in them should be exposed. Because some of these, I guess that's really when you get in the light beer territory. Oh, boy, do they suck when they get warm. Okay. My <laughs> thoughts here mm -hmm. is D is stands out above the rest because I think it has a heavier, more multi body. This is the most different. That's the sure. most different. Is it my preferred drink? I'm not sure. Under certain circumstances. It's a good one. It's definitely well made. It's definitely it stands out amongst the others. It could be the Narragansett or the Narragansett, which is a smooth beer and is a smaller regionalized thing you know uh it's it's it, it, it was in rhode island for a long time and then now has kind of gotten out and a couple of the local bars that i go to carry it and that's the thing like if you're really in the know you just tell them i'll have a gansett nothing narragansett so well give me a gansett. you could almost say the same thing about jungling because it was a regional beer until just 20, 30 years ago. And one of my favorite stories about Coors was um, 
I think it was a friend of mine who was in a bar and he was in the bathroom and some guy was peeing in the urinal and before he flushed he goes this is going straight to Coors Colorado and then he flushed it <laughs> You know, I had to buy six packs of some of these things rather than singles, and you can tell that from the size of the cans. Yep. And so, Ellen and I have been drinking some mm -hmm. in our kiddie pool, which, uh, you know, is it, it really nice on Insert a hot day. picture. It's really hot, yes. you know, really hot. And, and you know, one of the things we drank were Coors. And I tell you, in that kiddie pool, when it was really hot, that those Coors were great. <laughs> yeah, they have their place. When you're mowing the grass, when you're in the pool, when you're at the show, surrounded by a bunch of people, they have their place. So now we're gonna have somebody refresh these really quick and we're gonna do a top off with our final results. <laughs> okay, now you have Wait to go, cause Wait I'm just gonna bring the cans around and pour, so you need you to- You can't snap. Uh, my skin's trying to dry, but good. Wait, wait, try it again. And we are refreshed. Yes. So here we go, let's go again and we'll go in reverse order. We'll give these a quick last go. All right. And we're going to start divvying as we go. Cheers. Cheers. It kind of tastes like a Miller High Life. Yeah. I like it. Bready flavor, nice and light, no off flavors. I'm going to move it forward. Okay. Okay. There we go. Now to G. Um, that one's a little off to me. You, you don't like the, the kind of hoppy flavor at the end? No, it's more in the, the earlier part of the flavor. Some element I just don't. Rubs me maybe the wrong way. And the smell isn't the greatest. I'm moving this one back. You're, you you moved it forward, you liked it. Yeah. Okay. Oh, that's a good one. That's a nice one. Yeah, that's a good one. Nice, I, I probably what, like that better. I'm agree. gonna move it a little. I'm gonna, move, I'm gonna leave it up there in front too. Yeah, I'm leaving this one in the very front. This one just a little, and then this one in the back. All right, there we go. That's, that's a nice one in this context. Mm-hmm, it's good. I'm gonna put that on par with the with H. That's pretty good. All right, then the darker one. I always thought of Yingling as being darker. Well, I think this could be Yingling as well. Yeah, I think it's, like I said, slightly less flavorful than the others. I don't dislike it and I don't love it. It's maybe the, in a way, the most mindless of them all. Like if you really just want to sip on something. So yeah, well, I won't push this to the front, not my favorite. Um, I'm, but it is good. It's, it's uh, I think a little heavier bodied and a little more malty taste forward. Mm -hmm. um, the hoppy taste at the end is maybe less than some of the others. The hops are so subtle in these. I mean, you're picking them up better than I am, so. Well, I'm just a, like, which level of it's bread a and yeast yeah, are these? I'm going to leave that up there. I, I haven't moved very many back because they're pretty much the same. That's <laughs> close. right. They're really close. This one didn't have the best nose. It's very light bodied. Yeah. Not my favorite flavor. A little watery. Putting this a little further back. Yeah, but this but it was one that was... I'm going to compare before. that before I move on to the other one I moved back very far, which was a, a G. Got a little more character. It does. So maybe this is my least favorite. This is my second least favorite. All right, here we go. <laughs> this is the hoppiest of the batch to me. I it's taste the hops up front. Oh yeah, yeah, it, it's uh, very interesting. Uh, yeah, I, I like this that. This is nice. Yes. I like that one. Mm. This tastes the most like a craft beer to me. If you were to, I'm gonna put it up there in the front and then we'll compare our front runners at the end. Here we go. And A, a. our previous least favorite. Well, it's, it's not bad. It's not bad, it, it, but it's not very distinctive. Yeah. No. It's not bad. I'm waiting for that taste at the end to, to turn. It's not quite turning like it did at the beginning. I like it better than these two. So I'm gonna move these three back. And I'm gonna focus on these four here. Okay, All I'm, right? I'm, gonna, okay so, I'm gonna work on B here. You, you do it. We're gonna do our thing real quick, and then we're gonna come and give our final results of our top three with a runner-up and a worst in show that's a standout tiny bit less character that's pretty good that's pretty good b is number one for both of us so after further investigation b is our number is our champion and most recommended b the is king the of champion beers. it's it's as our it's our king, king of, of beers. beers yes uh <laughs> of these beers at least then e is definitely your second best choice yes. according to us 
then you can't go wrong with uh, F or H. That's it. They share the pedestal as number three. What's your worst in show? Because I have one. One with uh, A was my worst, I thought. After careful consideration, um, I put G as my worst in show. So we are going to reveal the winners and losers. Let's okay. start with the results. Rogers, worst in show was A, which is Coors. Worst in show is A. That's kind of what I thought. And Correct. it was my second to worst. Okay. Yes. But it had more character, yes. Worst in show was Correct. one of the Millers. One of the Millers, okay. One of these was two. One of those. We won't reveal because I want to taste right. the Yeah, meat. we still yeah. want to do that. Yes. The, the two beers who tied with you for Glad. third place were <laughs> <laughs> F and H. F being Budweiser. Mm -hmm. And H being Pabst. Pabst. Oh, third place. Pabst tied for third place. Third place. All yeah. right. So third Budweiser place. is no longer, in our opinion, the king of you beers. King it's of beers. not the pink. It's queen. It's the jack of beers. <laughs> jack of beers. <laughs> it's up there. It's in consideration yeah. for royalty. Out of eight. It's in consideration. Of okay. Both of you had number two being E, which is the Gansett. Oh, there we right. go. Yeah. And the big reveal for number one beer. Ba -da -da, Schlitz. Wow, Schlitz. Man, Schlitz the brought The king it home. of Milwaukee beers yeah. that is very famous. It really stood out from the rest. Yes. It has a bigger hop presence. It's a really nice beer. Wow. I'll keep that in mind. I am so glad that Pat brought Schlitz back from oblivion. Yeah. That, that's a beer worth bringing back. What are the two Miller highlights? Okay. G was a Miller and G. C. Yeah, I had these both towards the back. They must yeah. clearly not be yeah, as good. Not really happy I thought this was one of my favorites. Uh, Maybe we don't like beer that tastes like champagne, champagne, right? C and G? Yeah, C was Boy. Miller, G was Miller. All right, so between the two Miller High Lifes, let's see if we taste the difference in which one we prefer, okay? Okay. I mean, I do like it by itself. <laughs> it just is a little lighter and water, waterier than, you know, when compared to the others. I think I prefer C. I think C has a I little brighter, a little C, more going for yeah, it. I think it's a little heavier, a little, a little more body, I think C. I'd say so. We're Start. talking about little bitty differences yeah. and taste side by side, that's what comes up. Um, every one of these would be perfectly acceptable and wonderful and you could just chug it if you wanted to after yeah. you finished mowing the lawn. And so that means that the dark one, D, was Yingling? Yes. All right, so Yingling does, at least visually, well, visually and taste-wise, stand out, but just wasn't our favorite. So congratulations to Schlitz, to Gansett, and to PBR and Budweiser, you guys truly are the kings of the mass-produced loggers. Thank you for watching. Yep. Uh, do like us and mm -hmm. subscribe. And if you have any questions or comments, uh, please uh, send them to us and we'll do our best to respond. That's right. Until then, with our number one beer, cheers. Cheers. Hey, you're drinking out of the can. That's oh, that was, that was very popular in the 50s That's and 60s. That's the way to do it. You know, it doesn't taste as good out of the can. <laughs> I take it all back. You can't do it. You can't snap. Yes, I did. Okay. It's not as loud as yours. All right.